Hello, and welcome to another meeting of the Lotus Council. So what we have today, it's pre-release weekend, and we've got a set booster box. And the buy box promo is really cool. Fortunately, it is curved. Uh, it's hard to get Pringle-free cards these days. So let's go ahead and open this up. Now, I was able to play in the pre-release last night. Tons of fun. My only issue being... People love this set and it's selling out locally, so it's getting kind of hard already to find these and I just lucked out in being able to get this box. So kind of cool how they're doing this. They're putting like a pretty thick cardboard thing over the top to protect it. So of course that protection is not going to matter if I just dump out the packs. <laughs> So let's go ahead and set things up to be able to just start open. We'll talk a little bit about this set and some of the fun things and hopefully have a blast. So art card, there we go. It is a Peerless Samurai, regular basic. I will separate out, let's do this up here, the regular. Ooh, Silver for a master, that's a great one. I will put these off to the side. So our first rare is an Invoke the Winds with the Metention Core alternative frame foil with that there. So kind of doing some weird piling today. Maybe I'll put all the rares together. I know that is a foil. Okay. Ooh, that's a cool card. So Kato Shizuki, I think. Very cool. Then we've got our Swamp here. I'll put those off to the side. Our Ninja Frame. Then we've got some regular ones. Ooh, Secluded Courtyard. I will kind of put this off to the side because this is a pretty decent card that I will play. So I'll put that there with that. Then we've got that. Ooh, Goro Goro, Disciple of Ryushi. Terrible at pronunciations. I probably mispronounced that. But it is a two drop for a 2 2 Goblin Samurai where you can pump it for one and give your creatures haste. And you can basically make 5 5 red dragon spirit creature tokens with flying. Um, you have to have an attacking modified creature, but you know what? That's okay. And then we got a virus beetle. Ooh, I like that. I like viruses. I work with viruses, so. All right. We got the completed Tamio, which was sad. Ooh, we got a foil of these. Okay, two ninja frames. A regular virus beetle non-foil. Banishing Slash, I think, is very playable. Behold the Unspeakable. And then we got uh, Ryu Storm's Edge, a human samurai with first strike. So really good Boros commander, I think. Especially since um, whenever samurai or warrior attacks alone and tap it, it's the first combat phase of this. If it's the first one combat of this, you get another combat phase. So basically be able to do some cool stuff. And then you got the game card token. I'll put that over there. So I kind of wasn't really digging this set initially. I'm not a fan of Cyberpunk, but then I got a chance to play this. Oh, Swift Water Cliffs. Ooh, Moon Circuit Hacker. Okay, just kind of going through these quickly. Okay, Tales of Master Shasiro, I think. Ooh, our first Mythic, so we got the Red dragon blazing sky i'm probably going to stop trying to pronounce because i am just butchering names and i apologize i i just if it was a virus i would be able to say the name so we got a banishing slash and i thought i had a a list card there but it, no it was just one of those token cards which makes me sad all right Ooh, that is Pretty cool. That is a voltage surge with a foil 
Rugged Highlands. The foil actually looks pretty sweet. Okay. Shrines I'm definitely putting off to the side. Befriending the moths. Ooh, Towering Might. That's a cool one. And nice mirror box. I need a full playset, and I do have a list card there. I need a playset of these because I'm upgrading my standard deck. You fell the vial and entreat the dead. Okay, okay, that's pretty cool. Definitely could use that in reanimator type things. Um, kind of put that off to the side there because I got lots of piles this time around for different things. That is cool. That is a Kuru Boundless Sky. Then we got a Plains. More than the frame. <laughs> Dockside Chef, I'm definitely putting that aside. Like that one. Invoke Justice. Pretty decent card. And a foil. There, so. Not sure what value-wise is going to come out of this. Um, prices are going to tank hard. If you watched our... That's Guardians of... Poro, land there. If you watched the video that I did where we looked at the prices um, after um, that pre-release weekend versus after pre-release weekend, follow Lord Kanju, tribute to the Hobai, and Moon Circuit Hacker. Uh, you can see prices tank really hard within the first two weeks after release. And so... Basically, it's going to be a matter of AO, I, Don Sky, okay, I can't pronounce, I, I'm going to stop. Um, prices tank hard, so if you want to buy singles within the first couple of weeks after, ooh, that's that containment construct one that people are excited for. Reality chip, nice. Ooh, and then we got another one, Wall of Blood. So it is a wall. You pay one life and it gets plus one, plus one till end of turn. So that could be kind of fun. So our second list card, both of them black. Interesting. So as I was saying with the prices, they tank really hard. So if you're looking to get singles, you want to do that, you know, a couple of weeks after release and you'll be able to pick everything you up you want up for a decent price a hint to dawn crowned Ooh, that's cool that's really cool that could be a fun one and befriending the moths is a foil but i'll put it here with my other stuff and fake out list card so yeah just don't pre-order some of these things at the exorbitant price that they're selling at for the singles because as the supply increases it's going to be dropping really quickly so i will talk about this one um this is a really great one so one drop one to equip and then you pay one tap the creature this is equipped to and you sacrifice this and it deals three damage to any target that's actually surprisingly good and limited Far better than I was thinking it was going to be. Another secluded courtyard, which is great. Air of Enlightenment. And our second, which is Nashi Moon Sage Scion for a Rat Ninja. Kind of cool looking with the art. And then an Imperial Subduer with a Pilot token. So there is a Frog token that I want to get. It's super cool because it goes with the Toad Rider. <sighs> Might have to wait until prices start to drop. So... Probably not going to be getting a lot of this. This is a really great card. Definitely recommend it. Ooh. Okay, so we got a Jungle Hollow and we get another one of those. Then we got Metechian Core, a Spell Pierce Foil, and Hard Evidence. Okay. So you create a 0-3 Blue Crab Creature Token and Investigate. So not terrible, but I mean, it's a common in Modern Horizons too, and so... You could pick it up for super cheap currently. Okay, just kind of going through these. Oh, we got the alternative art for that. 
for the Storm's Edge there. Then a Mind Link mech and a Go of Ancient Wars. I, I, I apologize. I'm not going to butcher names anymore, but it is a cool foil. All right. Let's keep opening because this is fun. This is really fun. Ooh. Got ourselves a foily. Ooh, and then the silver for master in the ninjutsu frame, which I'll put there with the stuff I like. I mean, it's not really a good thing. That's actually decent. Okay, so we got modern age. Ooh, our second mythic, our third mythic, excuse me. Karai the Swirling Sky. With the Ogre Demon foil wear. That's pretty cool. All right. Keep on keeping. Oop, another one of those. Okay. Then we got a Fable Mirror Breaker, Paper Crafted Koi, and our List Car Decoy. So not really a list card that makes you think you're going to get a list card, though. All right. Oop. Two shrines. That's great. Oh, nice! The Shrine Commander for our fourth Mythic. That is a hit. So put that there. Then we've got March of Reckless Joy, Iron Hoof 4 foil, and a... Yes, the frog token. So look up Frog Rider. Or I can just show you the one I pulled from one of my prize packs yesterday. I am building this as a commander, and now I have the token. I'm just kind of put those down at the bottom. I didn't pull it out of this box, but I did get it from a set booster pack that I won at my pre-release. So much fun. Like, I am... I'm incredibly pleased with this set. Um, this is going to be one of those that I think you can go and draft and draft uncommons and commons and do well. There's a lot of synergies there. Okay, so we got a Grease Fang. Oka oh, bleh. Yeah, Rat Pilot. Really cool. Ooh, Ishin Two Heavens as one. That's a really great one. When we were young and a Samurai token. So I am pretty happy with the stuff I'm getting out of this. That Shrine Commander will go great with the shrines that I've been buying up. So, Ooh, another Silver Fur Master. That one was pre-ordering for quite a bit. Ooh, Jungan Defends the Temple Mythic. It's a pretty good Mythic. And Futurist Sentinel. Which is a pretty decent one. Uh, some of these have... Differing crew costs. There's some of these that are, it's just like one or two. And they're just beasts and unlimited. Peerless Samurai there. Just lots of good stuff. So Azusa's Many Journeys is going to be a really great one. And I got a non file of the Ogre, which is great. And Dragon, Kami Reborn. Ooh. And a Spectral Force. Hmm. Whenever it attacks, if defending player controls no black permanents, it doesn't untap. It's an 8-8 eight, eight for 5. So that's, you know, that's pretty decent. Um, I'm not going to complain about that for a list card. I like to do weird messed up things with green, so that's perfectly okay. Another one of those. The Simeon Sling. I love this. It is an equipment monkey. That, yeah. Hmm. Another of the construct. Ooh, and we get another one of these. Okay, March of Wretched Sorrow. And ooh. So we've got Chain Fill Centipede. This is actually surprisingly good. I, I'm gonna have another video talking about a, a deck I did at pre-release. And then we got Architects of Will. So Demir. Ooh, that's pretty cool. You can mess up people's stuff. Or, you know, cycle it if you need to. So, messing with people's decks always makes them mad. Ooh, Scourward Barons. 
It is a tap lens, but that foil is pretty popping. Not enough to change my mind about the utility of those, but you know, it's popping. Shattered States Era, My Genic Rem for Trial, Search Hacker Mac, and a Searchlight Companion foil. With a spirit token. Lots of spirits get made in this, in this set. Okay. Another Dockside Jeff. Then we've got a Thundering Ranju and Replication Specialist with another Booster Sleuth. All right, we've got just a few packs left. I'm trying to open these without damaging the cards because, you know, it's kind of how it's rolling today. Ooh, one of those. That's great. All right. Crucible of Defiance, Legendary Land, our first of these Legendary Lands that we pulled today. Oh. <laughs> okay, we got a Sersifoil Mythic, uh, Gen Jetaxis, Progress Triant, Tyrant. Um, I don't know that I ever want to play that card because I just it makes me feel bad because of what it does. It's pretty powerful. It's That was a pack and a half. Ooh. That one's dang near miscut. Really off center. All right. Long Reach of Night. Invoke the Wilds. Or, yeah, Invoke the Winds. And Lucky Offering with a. I think you're getting a list card, but you're not getting a list card card. But those are great because those are official Wizards of the Coast proxy blanks. So that's how I play with them. Okay, Era of Enlightenment. Wow. Chinsaro the Shattered Blade. Uh, this is the commander for that. Then we got um, Soul of Kamigawa, Reinforced Ronin Foil, and a Human Monk token. So we got a few packs left. Um, honestly, I'm just, I'm loving this set. It, it's really pretty powerful. We got another Ninja Turtle. I know you're going to say, oh, it's a turtle ninja. No, it's a ninja turtle. I'm always going to pronounce it that way. Two more shrines. Then we've got Invoke Despair, Guardians of, Bo of Oboro, and Resurrection. Okay. Back when White used to be able to do that. Color Pie was really interesting back in the day. Again, these foils these otherwise just not even good in limited lands. Okay. Friending the Moss. We got a Tamisha Reality Architect, Harmonious Emergence, and a Proxy Blank. I'm gonna just going to call them that. Or to treat it like Professor said on Twitter, it is a wild card that you can redeem. <laughs> Ah, uh, that's good times. Ooh, legendary creature there. So I'll actually pull that out. So behold the unspeakable. March of burgeoning life and explosive entry. Three more packs in this box. Oh, two circumbenders. That's okay, I guess. All right, so we got that, that, and we got a cloud shred Kieran and a mech hanger foil. Hmm. That's really, that's really fun. All right. Two packs left. Ooh, we got a stamped one here. Don't really do anything with those. I have to figure out what to do with them. Okay, Modern Age. Ooh, our second of these, the Soaring City. Then we got Underworld Scourger and a Tezzeret emblem. All right. 
Thailand, Samurai. Okay, Fall of Lord Kondu. Then we got a Grease Fang. The Fall of Lord Kondu. And we got ourselves an Arlen. <laughs> Pax Hope in the last little bit. But I mean, it's an uncommon for more of this bark, so that's okay. Well, you might wonder why I'm pulling out all of those enchantments. If you're not familiar with Toad Rider Does, with the Kimi that it makes, uh, whenever you cast an enchantment spell, each opponent loses a life and you gain a life. So it drains them. And this is Salt High Colors. So pretty good stuff. Should be pretty fun. There's a lot of enchantments in blue and green. And basically, I'm going to make an enchantment deck with that as the commander. So we can look at our mythic pulls. I mean, uh, it, it was just a pretty good box. I mean, that foil is pretty spicy. And of course, we got our shrine commander and another commander. Just good stuff. Got to do some pile of foils here. Got a good chunk of these lands. Not enough to really play with, but, you know, they're nice. Then sorted list cards. Whole bunch of rares here. I like the set boosters because you do get more rares per box. So we got two of those legendary lands. remember where it was at but anyway and then a mirror box which was really fun for me so yeah, it was a pretty pretty fun pull pretty fun box and a whole stack of things that I'm interested in and wanting to use in decks even though they're not really like super spicy can be fun so anyway we want to thank you for joining us today if you're on the lookout for cards please check out our sponsor over at Geekified you can find them at geekifiediowa.com and we want to spend, thank you for spending time with us. If you want to know when we're doing our next meeting, go ahead and subscribe. Hit that bell notification and join us in our Discord, which you should be doing because we do fun stuff in our Discord. So thank you all for coming today, and we hope to see you next time. That's all we have, and our meeting is now adjourned. We hope you have a fantastic day.